All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double under so Paul's and elders in New York, GMS, and salutation to the all around the world. This is teaching truth. My name is Maya Ka'al Nagab, with Chicago branch of GMS. And before I start this video, man, I've been having uh, the demons been messing my camera, man. I will start the camera, the picture turns sideways or, or the reverse, man. So, you know, the demons definitely didn't want me to uh, bring this update about, uh, you know, this this uh, drug epidemic among Esau, man, particularly opioids. All right. And uh, other drugs, man. You know, but uh, make the disclaimer, uh, we at GMS, Great Millstone, do not encourage or endorse uh, illegal drug use, all right, or abuse of uh, prescribed medication, all right? We don't uh, encourage that. We just report what was what is going on um, in America, which is this opioid epidemic and also the, the other drugs, all right, that are... Uh, Becoming a uh, a crisis in uh, uh, so-called white America. All right, all right, uh, so-called white people. All right, which is correctly known as uh, uh, um, um, All right, Edom. All right, uh, the nation of Edom. All right, the red people. All right, because you know they're not white; they're red. This guy right here, you see in this picture. This uh, policeman, all right, he's red, he's not white like his shirt, all right. Anyway, it says, uh, it says, Indiana town marshal arrested for the medication theft, all right. It says, uh, it says, Van Buren, Indiana. It says, authorities say, Indiana town marshal. Faces charger after he allegedly took medication from your home while in uniform. All right, it says state police said 49 year old Van, Van Buren town marshal Donald R. Bosley was arrested Thursday for the complaint early in the day. Court records don't list a lawyer for it. It says a Van Buren resident told police he installed a video surveillance system after early earlier prescription medication theft all right he says on tuesday he discovered the medication missing again and a review of views of it determined it was taken uh, may 31st police say the man recognized Bobby as the person and in uh the video okay so you know now you know because he's all trying to hide through his media man this uh, crisis that's, that's going among among uh, their people, man. All right. <clears throat> and then and you can see right here, they say what type of medication, anything, man. It's like Esau trying to hide something, man. He is trying. He is hiding stuff, man. What is he hiding? What, what, what was the prescription of this drug? What, was it was it opioids? All right, was it the, the other the other type of drugs? All right, and see each other trying to you know you're trying to hide things, man. You can't hide things, man. You're going down as a nation, man. The curses in Deuteronomy 28 is coming back onto you. All right, as it's stated in Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 7. All right, all right, you're going down, so-called white people in America, the nation eating. You're going down, and we are coming up. All right, we are, we. All right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, the Israelites. All right, the true, the true white people, the true righteous people, man. All right, it says Psalms eighty-five, eleven. It said, "Truth shall spring out of earth, and righteousness shall look down forever." Right, so truth shall spring out of earth, man. All right, that you uh so-called white people, man, you're not righteous as as you like to perceive in your media, man, in your media. All right. So what type of pain, what, what type of medication that you were stealing in this situation, this eating white was stealing uh, from his friend, man. And this guy is supposed to be a state police. You know, what what if he if he do this, what what other type of shit he was doing, man? 
while as, as, as a, a policeman, as a state policeman, man. All right. How many people did he frame, man? How many Israelites did he frame? Put drugs on them, man. Was he dealing drugs behind the scenes while serving as a policeman, man? All right. Well, was there smoke, man? There's fire, man. All right. You know, you can't hide no more Esau. You can't hide behind this this uh good guy facade. All right. All right, so we just, just 2017 report, State of Addiction Confronting Indiana's Opioid Crisis. All right, you can see Esau, your, your name, Esau, Edo. All right, every time somebody hear that, they're going to connect it with opioids. Just like you push that false image out there. All right. Every time somebody think of uh, what's no bad words, you call us black. All right. They think about game bang, you know, drugs or pimp and prostitutes, stuff like that. So now Esau, eat them. All right. When everybody had Esau, eat them. All right. They're going to think about oil boys mainly, man. All right. It says uh, Attorney General Curtis say I'm not resigning call. All right, here goes some bullshit. All right, you see Satan. The one bringing is I clicked on something else, something else. Thought I clicked on all uh, that state edition article. All right, so uh, you know it's a lot for that. All right, so here you go right here. It says state of edition confronting Indiana's opioid crisis. All right, so this is from September twenty fourth, two thousand seventeen. All right, it is considered by many to be the single most important crisis facing the state of Indiana, and for good reason. It says opioid addiction is a public health catastrophe. More than one in twenty people in Indiana does a staggering two hundred eighty-six thousand Hoosiers reported have engaged in non-medical use of opioid pain relievers. Right. So what the hell this cop was stealing, man? Was it opioids? All right. Now, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. It, it was opioids, man. All right. It said, even worse, the number of Hoosers had died from drug poison had increased 500% since 1999. It says more people now die in Indiana for drug poison than in car accidents. All right. Just like the uh, Elder Malcolm said, man, the head of uh, Jim at Chicago County. All right. He said, they said discussing the problem merely in terms of public health does not just to show how persuasive and accurate this problem is in our state. Those in public safety for emergency responded to police officers to, <laughs> it's funny, remember that, to public defender prosecutors see precious time and resources sucked up by epidemic. Employers see a vicious cycle which they lose employees to addition, then struggle to refute a position because that's not enough will be workers to pass the drug test down. All right. It says, and the already overburdened foster care and child welfare are now for the tax back ever increasing number of children whose parents are either dead or locked up and dead. See, the curse is coming back. It's coming back onto you. Off, it's, it's, it's coming off us. It's, it's, it's going on to you so-called white people, man. You Edomites, man. You other nations. All right. Just like it said in Deuteronomy 30, verse 7, man. All right. So, you know, uh, let's see. Now, it says, uh, it, says it is a massive problem. One to be quiet, ever attention of who's from virtually all walks of life and all corners of the state to solve. All right. It said today, Indy Star is proud to announce his role in this effort beginning next Sunday. We will start a year long committee bringing greater awareness to the problem of opioid dependency. Through a report project called State of Addiction. Damn right. Well, it should be called United States of Addiction, man. All right. It says, confronting Indiana's opioid crisis, this effort is made possible in great part through the generous support of nonprofit Richard M. Fairbanks Foundation uh, Incorporated, man. All right. 
So uh, it's right. It said, it is our goal not only to raise awareness about proper use and dispose of prescription painkillers, about how to prevent and identify addiction, about how to help loved ones who are struggling, but also dispel myths, break down stereotypes, stigma, to provide for many sense well, who's to take meaningful action. All right. <laughs> it says, in doing so, we will be telling stories, painful, heartbreak, but also inspiring or who's it who could very well be your friends, co-workers, neighbors, and family children. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that po- that, that policeman, man, all right, he was just, he was the most trusted man that got trusted, man, to be in his house and shit, man. So, you know, this is it, man. This is an update about the opioid uh, crisis among uh, so-called white America, Edom. All right, so uh, shout out.